What is the funniest shit that you saw at school? In middle school I saw a girl run into a pole cause she wasn't looking. She screamed then kicked the pole and screamed again 10 tenths. I had something similar happen while playing basketball in my driveway. The ball bounced off the rim and hit me in the face, knocking off my glasses. In link frustration I immediately kicked the ball which then bounced off the pole and hit me square at the gut. It was like some slapstick cartoon shit, but it was as funny as it was infuriating. Our gym teacher telling us how to dribble and shoot and she missed every shot she took and double dribbled every time. Someone shoulder juked her ass and dunk on her. Back in high school I saw this kid just totally eat it down a staircase of at least 10 steps. Then he got up immediately and ran off screaming I'm okay. I'm a car guy. He ran off to cry in the bathroom. There was this guy, his name was, no joke, Harold Balls. And yes, he went by Harry. He was on the swim team and some kid from the other school was reading out the lineup on a PA to swim, meet when he got to Harry Balls and clearly thought it was a joke, and he burst out laughing when he said it. Harry just walked off and quit the swim team. When I was in third grade, the principal said that we are gonna host a crown party because of a recent event. So in the next two days we were all dressed royal and stuff, but then you see the class next to me, they misheard crown for clown and lem tell you. These kids looked so funny. I kinda felt bad, because they might have been embarrassed. But hey, what else can I do? Every court needs a jester. A couple guys I went to high school with came in one day wearing spider-man and venom costumes under their clothes. During lunch they shared their regular clothes and fought. A kid in my class tried throwing a glue stick up in the air and swiping at it to catch it, but instead launched it and it hit the teacher. A kid got stuck in the toilet and we had to get the teachers to pull him out. Here's the story, he was a small kid and I'm pretty sure he was playing tag with his friends during lunch break. I was in the bathroom doing my business and he came running in with his friends behind him. He ran into the toilet and as his friends came to tag him. He fell into the toilet. He got stuck. His friends needed the teachers to help him get out. I was laughing so hard. Derek was one of the second tier of popular kids. I didn't know him well, but everyone called him Dogger. Anyway, Dogger was stuffing around in year 7, age 12, on a basketball court. Stands at the free throw line, throws a basketball into the air, and kicks it really fucking hard toward the other end of the court. Everyone goes silent and just watches as this magnificent kick sails through the air and then, swish. Full court shot, from the wrong free throw line and kicked, goes in. We must have fucked up 50 or more basketballs trying to repeat the feat, in a game that became known as Dogger Ball. Basketballs don't like that level of abuse, they developed huge bumps. Dogger himself grew up to be the third best player on the school soccer team, behind two people who started playing professionally. No idea what happened to him after that. Guess he just died. And Eric fucking died. Unlikely though. He'd be 38 now. I was never friends with him, so I just lost touch completely after school. Even if I was curious enough I can't even remember his last name to Facebook stalk him and find out. A fake two people from my year level died, one in 1994, year 7, in a freak accident, one this past January of cancer, obligatory fuck cancer, the guy wasn't someone I was close to, but he and his family deserved more time together than they got. Once, in 5th grade, we had a lockdown drill, and this kid hopped up onto the lockers. Above the lockers, there were windows that looked into the classroom. He looked through, and in a really strange voice, yelled I see a yahoo. Some kid shat himself whilst wrestling in bed. He denied it ever happened even though everyone saw. About a week later some other lad climbed onto the roof of a house neighboring my school, trying to get our ball back, and found his shit stained clothes on top of the roof. Instead of leaving them there the lad kicked them off the roof into the neighbor's drive. The neighbor came to the school and complained after finding shit covered garments with my school's logo on. We had a whole school assembly about the issue. The kid didn't come forward and admit it was him. The teachers ended up looking at CCTV to find out who the culprit was. 
kid who shat himself was most likely seen running naked outside and throwing his shit covered clothes onto a roof. Lad who climbed onto the roof was caught kicking them into the drive and climbing on the roof. The climber was suspended for a few days. The kid who shat himself was never seen again I think he may have left due to embarrassment. Poor guy hoped he's doing well, but fuck me it was hilarious. I was in robotics. Our supervising teacher had gone to his office to get something, and we were getting ready to leave. It was like 7pm and we were all hyped up on pure adrenaline and the smell of Jeerbark's loo. Somehow, a discussion over what exercises to do to get fit started. At the start, it was innocent. Stuff like, you cannot only lose weight on your stomach area. You gotta lose the fat between your inner organs first. Okay, but like, how? Why can he do 10 more push-ups than you can? Unsurprisingly, considering we're a bunch of teenagers left alone in an empty classroom, it quickly spiraled into a debate into what would happen. If you did lots of squats, would your butt get smaller and flatter due to the fat loss, or would it get bigger due to muscle gain? A girl, which we'll call C, has her jacket half on, dangling off of one shoulder, and she says, in the most serious voice, No. You are all wrong you get sculpted ass. No, no, hear me out. Have you seen those Greek statues? Sculpted ass. She keeps repeating the phrase to emphasize her point and it gradually escalates. Sculpted ass. Sculpted ass. Sculpted ass. Sculpted ass. At that moment, our supervising teacher walks in. The door was open and the school was basically empty at this point. C has her back to the door and is busy emphasizing sculpted ass. I look over, and our teacher has the most bewildered, confused yet amused, look on his face. It was priceless. I collapsed on the floor due to laughter, and while wheezing I told them, Mr. P is here. A look of horror crossed C's face, after she realized what I was saying, and she turned around, and started profusely apologizing. At which point our teacher said you guys continue, and sat down in a desk in an optimal viewing spot. It was glorious. A teacher, M around 35, walked into a class dressed up as Marge Simpson for Halloween. In high school some students had made a meme account that was just about the school, making fun of teachers etc so one day it was gonna snow real hard and the school didn't want to let us go home before it was gonna snow so one of the students announced on the meme page we were gonna protest that and like 200 people ended up throwing mosh pits in the small ass hallway next to the principal's office and it worked best day of my life we were playing soccer in gym class and a classmate of me kicked the ball really really hard and the ball hit our gym teacher right in the fucking face while he was sitting on a bench reading and his glasses flew off his face he was fucking angry but it was an accident so my classmate didn't get in trouble. Even though most of us think he did it on purpose. Oh it's gotta be the one time this girl in my class, a real know-it-all smartass, but everyone loved her. She was guaranteed to get a teacher off topic, dared our teacher to throw a binder clip at her. It directly related to the lesson as we were learning about how our actions had no consequences, the class was existentialism and the teacher was a dead poet's society ripoff. She continued to egg him on for the entire class, before he finally agrees. She stands up straight in the center of the class, and we're all seated in a U-shape around her. My teacher winds up and absolutely hurls the binder clip at her, missing by a bare inch, and slamming the quietest sweetest girl in class directly in the face. Everyone stops, shocked for a second before the quiet girl loudly proclaims your aim fucking sucks. You could tell it definitely hurt her, but we all busted out laughing. She was a great sport about it, and I don't think I had even heard her speak, let alone yell a swear. To this day it's one of my favorite stories. Of course our teacher profusely apologized, and we would casually bring it up as an inside joke between anyone in the class. Interestingly enough it kind of all brought us together as it was the first week of our senior year. That class became one of my absolute favorites. One kid was walking around and asking kids in his class for a dime because he just 10 cents away from buying something from the vending machine. 
Then he sees one of his friends walking in hallway and asks him for a dime and he says. Yeah I got a dime, I'll hook you up in the parking after school. He was talking about drugs. But the dean was literally 10 feet. Long story short they found drugs and a knife in his backpack when they searched him. What is the punishment for being caught in school with a knife? Death. In 9th grade, when I was in biology class, one of my table mates got out one of those soda pellet candies and crushed it with his ID card into dust. Then he snorted it, and after a few seconds, he started sneezing a lot. I looked at my teacher and she looked disgusted before telling my table mate off and going back into the lesson. It was hilarious. Kid did this at my school with blue funding and got an epic purple nosebleed and a detention. Two guys got into a fist fight in the cafeteria. But they are pretty scrawny and terrible fighters, so it was comical for the people watching. Instead of throwing fists they are slapping each other and had each other in a headlock. People were throwing dollar bills at them. One of the spectators grabbed a couple scrunches and started putting them in the fighter's hair. There was another fight, this one was between two girls. One girl pinned the other girls and start pulling out her weave and tossing them around. People were picking the hair extensions. Throughout the day you can see people wearing them. People were throwing dollar bills at them. LMAO. Not funny for me, but funny for classmates. I ate something during lunch in grade 2 and it caused me to feel the urge to shit. At the time I was terrified of shitting in any restroom other than at home for various reasons. So I willed myself to hold it in. Two classes later, I was feeling really uncomfortable and could not focus on the lesson. As luck would have it, the teacher called upon me to write the answer to a question on the board. I tried refusing, but the teacher wouldn't have it, and she grabbed my wrist and yanked me out of my chair. An explosive diarrhea situation occurred, and since I was wearing shorts, the shit ran down my legs and onto the floor. I had to transfer to a new school the next year to escape bullying. Bro imagine you're the teacher. You have to go home to your husband and explain how you grabbed a kid so hard they had explosive diarrhea. Once in drama club we were rehearsing for the spring musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie, and the set crew left the backstage door open so they could get in and out quick and easy, and a wasp got in while the girls playing Millie, Ms. Meadows, and Dorothy were going through a scene. The scene broke, as soon as they saw the wasp, one of them ran off the stage, one girl fell over and just laid there, all of them were screaming. Eventually the student director came over with hairspray to kill the wasp. In the middle of our first night performing I was a teenage zombie, several of the actors were spraying their hands with hairspray and lighting them on fire. They did this right under the fire alarm. I promise they were usually smart guys. Way back in the day, in middle school during our computer science class one of the guys figured out the copy paste shortcuts. He was just copy pasting words into some word program, it's been a while I can't remember if it was not a Pador word itself, as many times as he could. As class was winding down, he had the great idea to save his several tens of thousands of word document to pick up after the next class. He hit save to the network drive, and while it took an eternity to save it eventually did. Not 10 minutes into lunch and some teachers came in looking extremely, well, irritated. Apparently the word document was so enormous that it basically filled the network drive, idk if they had partitions or whatever, but they said it filled the drive. Also apparently due to this huge file, I think it was like 5 gigs or something which was colossal at the time. Sorry if I'm off I don't remember the exact size. Nobody could save anything to that drive. Also also apparently every time someone tried to delete said file their computers would crash and fail to delete the document. Ended up they had to buy a new drive for the school, which at the time was ridiculously expensive. He got in school suspension for a few days. So maybe somewhere in a dusty corner of the basement of that place, or in some landfill or something is a drive which is nearly inoperable, because it's literally filled with words. How many pages was the file? I ask because a word document would have been thousands upon thousands of pages. Roughly 65k pages for 1 gig, if it was a word document so how big and what format was this file exactly? 
could have gotten big quickly. If you update your copy slash paste every few minutes, and hold CTRLV for the whole hour or so period, fucking legendary is what I call it. I've shared this before, but it still cracks me up thinking about it. Halloween costumes were banned at my high school, because of some idiots like 10 years before that dressed up, and used it as an excuse to hide their face, while they vandalized the school. My senior year more than half of the class decided, that we would still dress up, and march into the school together in the morning. We all knew we would be punished right away, but it didn't matter. I stayed up all night making a suit of armor out of metallic duct tape and cardboard, along with a broomstick horse to ride. Here is a picture that ended up in the yearbook, i.imga.com link. The next day we all gathered in the parking and waited for everyone to show up. People went all out and there were a lot of amazing costumes, and after about 20 minutes of waiting we started our march in. The deans had learned of our plan and were waiting for us right as we entered. They started pulling people aside in groups and taking student IDs to hand out detentions. In my group there was one guy dressed up as an ATM, and when the dean asked for his ID he started making ATM noises, and then slipped the ID out through the slot, where you would put your debit card in. It was one of the funniest things, and I was so jealous, that my costume was not as clever as his. Even though having so many of us participate was pretty awesome, his costume just made that whole event for me. First thing that comes to mind, friend pointed a laser pen into a science class goldfish's eye. The fish turned upside down, and floated to the top of the tank. Teacher didn't notice, but some other kids saw, and we were worried it would get back to us. Lesson ended next day. Fish was fine. Sounds like that fish taught you a lesson that day, guess he schooled you haha. I think teacher bought a replacement fish. I mean. Someone went to the breakfast line from the exit, took a piece of bread then booked it out of the cafeteria with two security people following them. Did he stay one jump ahead? This guy was being a douche to another kid in the bus lines after school. He bullied his way in front of another kid, and was still being a douche. I guess the kid had enough of his shit, and pants him in front of the whole school. Everyone saw and had a good laugh. The bully didn't show up the next two days. Bullies getting what they deserve is always hilarious. Some kid got busted with 50 grams of weed on him. No mason jar just in a plastic bag stinking up the hallway. 50 fucking grams. That's why you get edibles instead. It was my senior year of football. Before practice, some players were on specialty teams meanwhile the linemen were bored on the sideline. We had this one lineman slash backer who transferred from one of our rival schools, and was arrogant f. He wasn't that bad, but he really pissed some of us off. He was called over to the specialty team's practice. My buddy wanted to practice his punt, because we had nothing better to do. He picked up a ball, dropped with ease and a strong ass punt. The ball went flying, and mailed that newcomer dead in the face. We all shit ourselves laughing. Meanwhile my dumbass nearly takes out a coach, the one who hated me the most. PE both classes, about 50 kids, sitting on benches along both sides of the gym. Teachers want to do a basketball demonstration, so they pick 3 kids at random. They're all in the middle of the gym, doing basketball, and there's a growing undercurrent of whispered words and stifled giggles. My mate nudges me with his elbow and goes kid, has a bone on. And he does, a full on tent pole. By this point the giggling had gotten pretty loud. Suddenly, one of the bad kids, jumps up and screams A-G-H-H-H, he's got a bone on. Entire gym bursts into gales of laughter. Even the teachers were laughing behind their hands. One of them goes over to the kid and walks him out of the gym. Same kid also shit in the pool. Also, during a sex ed thing, the teacher asked us guys if we knew what happened when girls get excited. We were all thinking the same thing and looked around at each other until someone finally put their hand up and said miss, they get a wide on. Poor kid. Story time. At my second elementary school, we had this kid named Jordan. For reference, Jordan looked like a real life version of Russell from Up. Jordan normally brought a huge fucking lunch. Literally packed his lunchbox as full as possible. 
One day, he only brings two baby bottle pops. He began to pour out the entire contents of the powder from both bottles onto the lunch table, and formed it into a line the length of the table. You can see where this is going. Russell from up proceeds to snort the entire line of baby bottle pop powder like it was some grade A cocaine, while everyone was eating. I love growing up in a low income area. The one that was squeezed out into another kid's gym bag. Fucking terrible, but at 15 I couldn't breathe. How big was it? If you found just a teeny piece of human shit cradled in your clean laundry would you feel better than if it was a big hot banana? Kid smashed the window of his mom's car as she pulled in to pick him up. Unlucky cricket hit I believe. The next day, he denied it ever happened. Now, this would be believable had his mom not have put glad wrap in the place where the window once was. This kid pulls up in his mom's car and we all come to ask him about his high tech glass. He says something along the lines of, map, this is just a refit from the dealer, and proceeds to roll down the window sucking the glad wrap into the mechanism, and further damaging the car. Pretty sure he had gotten something else from the dealer. My friend asked to go to the bathroom, and the teacher responded with I don't know, can you? And he said, I don't know, can you settle the divorce you're in, by the way, he couldn't settle it. That line always pissed me off. Like fine I'll just walk out without saying anything then. It might not be grammatically correct, but it's the common saying. Freshman year, honors, world history. Watching some documentary about Napoleon, one of those that has reenactment scenes included. Guy asked the teacher, with a totally straight face, if it was actual footage. We once did an anti-drug play for the grade 8 students as an assessment for drama. We thought it would be good, if it could look as realistic as possible, so we had our friend snort sherbet as cocaine. Except we didn't rehearse it, and it turns out sherbet burns. So in the middle of this play about drugs our friend snorts the sherbet and starts losing his mind with pain, rolling around screaming and crying and swearing and all these 12 year olds in the audience are either laughing at him, or crying out of genuine fear. It was amazing. I get off the bus, only to see a food fight caused by a couple, that broke up 12 times, they are juniors. Yes, 12 times. Now that I think about it, a lot of the funny stuff at my school, happened when they broke up, and tried to get back together again. 12 fucking times? Christ's sake was this the 12th breakup or the 13th? English class sophomore year of high school. Our teacher was infamous for taking months off for personal reasons, had issues with alcohol, depression. So he was present for about 6 weeks of the school year, and then we got a sub. Actually a few of them, but one in particular is in the story. We'll call him Mr. P. I like Mr. P he had a good sense of humor, he was reasonable, level headed and was a retired English teacher, so he knew what he was doing and actually taught, instead of just playing movie or something. He was also a retired football coach, which made him a bit more relaxed in a class setting, but less tolerant to annoyances, like Stu, not actual name. Stu, was your typical class clown. Loud, obnoxious, did everything for a laugh. To his deference, though, he was often pretty funny. Stu would have absolute field days with substitutes, claiming the teacher told him it's fine to sleep during class, getting up and just walking out of class, blurting out randomness, you name it. He just wanted to break them down as much as he could. Mr. P wasn't about that bullshit. We all learned real quick that Stu's antics would not get very far. Well, except for Stu. I'm not sure what happened this day, but I think it was just a built up frustration with the past few weeks of stewness, and Mr. P had enough. On multiple occasions Mr. P had jokingly threatened Stu that he would lock him in a closet if he didn't shut up, but no one took him seriously. It was during a popcorn reading, and after a particularly obnoxious interruption, Mr. P stopped the reading, grabbed his keys, stared Stu in the eyes and said, Stu, that was your last one. Step into the hall, please. As we all were, Stu was confused and refused to follow him out into the hall at first. After some back and forth, Stu eventually followed him out in the hall. 
As he was walking out the door, you could hear him plead. You're not actually locking me in a closet, are you? Mr. P came back in, without Stu, and continued with the class. Right as the bell rang Mr. P walked out of the class with us, went over to the nearest mechanical closet, and released Stu from his holding cell. He couldn't have looked more pissed slash defeated if he tried, and it was fantastic. I don't think this is the hardest I've laughed, but it's definitely up there. We were reading in period 5, English 6th G8, quietly and then some 8th grade guy runs through the hallway yelling I like him to e -I -E -I. It's a shame that I can't continue his legacy due to corona. There was a very strange kid who used to go to my school, he got transferred to a special school, but anyways he ran up and down the hallway showing people hentai from a manga he had, and when I say showing, I mean just shoving it into people's faces unprovoked, whack ass fucker, he also stabbed a kid with a pen behind me multiple time in science once. I didn't see this, because it happened to me. But my gym class we were playing volleyball and I don't know how I managed to do it, but I served the ball, and it knocked me out, and hit my teammate in the balls. Everyone thought it was the funniest shit ever except for us two. We were playing volleyball once in gym class while our teacher left. I served the ball, and it went over the net right between two people. The one guy stuck his foot out to grab the ball instead of letting it hit the ground, and it deflected off at high speed right into the head of the girl next to him. She flew sideways, and ended up taking out the girl on her other side in her fall. Then the gym teacher just says point left in the most deadpan voice. Some kid that thought he was good at every sport, went out to bat in baseball during pet, and he missed twice, and then someone caught his ball. The next kid up had down syndrome which doesn't limit how he could play but it just meant he was more jittery. He hit it way further than the other kid who thought he was great at everything, and that kid was so pissed about it. It may not be as funny as some others, but it was mostly funny, because the narcissistic kid was a jerk. Freshman year, there was a vegetarian kid who sat at my lunch table. One day for lunch. He wanted to eat, but just wanted his lunch without the meat, which they cold easily done for him. The lunch lady refused to do it, so he jumped over the counter, got it himself, jumped back over, and slammed his money down by the register, before walking out of the cafeteria. My friends and I started a food fight mostly with baby Karis. Some kid got hit in the head as he was just walking by. He cried in front of everyone in the cafe. We had this super athletic Jamaican guy in our school. Belonged in the Olympics. He went to just over the shortest guy in my gym class, but jumped a little late. All I need to tell you is, that the short guy ran away yelling I felt his balls on my face. This same guy loved playing dodgeball and always loved trying to hit the pretty girls who hid in the back corner, and talked during the co-ed games. I had a woodshop teacher named Mr. Woodley. First day of the new school year a couple of years ago we walk into our social studies class and saw our new teacher she was props in her mid 20s, incredibly hot, hands down hottest teacher in my school's history she introduces herself and then leaves to go to the bathroom as she is walking out the door, one kid who didn't see that she wasn't out of earshot yelled, she's so hot oh my god, see me after class. Sixth formers who owned a car, UK equivalent to junior and senior years of high school, were given a limited amount of places to park in. The rest of the parking spots were allocated to staff. But generally it wasn't enforced, and so sixth formers used to park in the staff spaces, if all the parking places allocated to sixth form students were full. Now on that particular morning, the car park was full of cars and there were no spaces left, not even in the staff spaces. So this guy actually parked his car on a pavement long, outside some houses. Amusingly the 6th form team were getting complaints from local residents, so one of the teachers went out to investigate, and, this car was on a pavement lawn outside. So all 6th form students got an email and a picture, of how the guy had parked his car, which said an example of how not to park. To whomever owns this car, please move it. I was in an it lesson at that time and I could not stop laughing for a good few minutes once I saw that email. It was just hilarious. Edit, just by coincidence, I was going through some old photos on my laptop just now, and I found the image of the car being parked. 
Sorry if my description of it was a bit unclear, but it's easier to see what I mean if you see the photo in the dot com link. Setting. High school. End of lunch. I go to the furtherest stall, open it, and look down at disbelief. There is a turd the thickness of a soda can, about 16 inches long, perfectly centered in the toilet. There is no paper, skid marks or any other signs of disturbance. I immediately run out to my friends in giddy excitement. You have to see this turd. Conversations start about the origin. Was it the fat kid that didn't shit for a week? Did someone craft this monster with smaller turds? The bell rings, and I have to go to art class. The janitor was making his rounds, and is muttering to himself, while passing through the class it just wouldn't flush, not even with a plunger. I had a pic of it on an old flip phone. I'll try and find it. You find it? Thanks for watching. Do you have something to share? Leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more edit readings. Links mentioned in this video can be found in the description. Have a great day.